Hello everyone. COVID-19 pandemic has become a major threat to the entire world. Sri Lanka too is doing their best in battling out this menace. The health sector, police and triforces are in full gear to bring it under control. As much as human health is important, health of animals is also something that needs greater consideration. Furthermore, as it is an ethical and animal welfare obligation, we are committed to treat animals even during these distressing times. However, as responsible healthcare workers, we have a social obligation to minimize the risk of infection among the public as well as animals under our care. Therefore, an appropriate personal protective equipment while handling animals would be of utmost importance. The veterinary teaching hospital of the University of Peradeniya would like to provide you with a video demonstration that would help a veterinarian to assure required personal protection while safeguarding the health and well-being of others. Hope this video helps you to treat your animal patients effectively making sure yourself clients patients and assistants are under proper protection firstly let us show you the personal protective equipment that are needed you would need a head cap followed by a protective gown You would also need a polythene apron. You would also need two pairs of surgical gloves. We would also recommend to have 70% or more alcohol hand rub. And finally, a pair of goggles or a shield. This face shield was produced locally and we recommend that you go for a pair of goggles for a better vision. We would now let you know the proper procedure of wearing personal protective equipment. Please make sure that you follow proper hand scrubbing procedures before each step. First and foremost, you must get into a comfortable scrub suit. Then you should wear the masks. Ideally, a three-layered surgical mask would be best fitting for a veterinarian. Next comes the head cap which would be followed by a protective gown. If your protective gown cannot be sterilized, you can always use a disposable polythene apron on top of the protective gown. Then you can wear a pair of boots which should always be covered with a shoe cover. Then again, ideally, a proper protection will be assured by two shoe covers. Topmost one will be removed when you leave the consult room. Next comes a pair of goggles or a face shield. And finally, you should wear two pairs of gloves. First one should be worn underneath the cuff of the protective gown, whereas the second should be worn on top of the cuff of the protective gown. And when you leave the consult room, you need to dip your feet in a food bath made up of 0.1% TCL. 
and if you want to follow surgical procedures you can always wear a surgical gown on top of the protective gown. Just as dressing up is important, removal of personal protective equipment holds great value. The improper removal and disposal of personal protective equipment would lead to self-contamination, surface contamination and contamination of other personnel which is a serious breach of health and well-being. As veterinarians, we will be handling pets with the help of several individuals. Therefore, extra precautions should always be taken into consideration. Proper procedure of removing personal protective equipment. Prior to removal, make sure you scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. Hand scrubbing procedure will be demonstrated now. Make sure you scrub your hands between each step. After proper hand scrubbing, the first pair of surgical gloves should be removed. The first pair of surgical gloves should be removed making sure the export surface is enclosed while removing as demonstrated. Removal of goggles would be demonstrated next. Please make sure that you follow proper hand scrubbing procedures before each step. Hands should be scrubbed for at least 20 seconds. The goggles should be removed backwards while bending your head forward so that the exposed surface of the goggles is away from the body. The polythene apron would be removed next. But please make sure that you scrub your hands properly. Tear the polythene apron at two places. First one should be the back strap and then the shoulder strap of the same side. Take off the polythene apron from the head and fold the exposed surface inwards as shown in the demonstration. Always make sure that you dispose the polythene apron appropriately. Next would be the removal of shoe covers. Please make sure that you scrub your hands properly. Please remove the shoes as demonstrated. Prior to the removal of the protective gown, make sure that you scrub your hands properly.
Remove the protective gown as demonstrated. Do not remove both sleeves together. And make sure that you remove the gown inside out. Please make sure that you fold the exposed surfaces of the protective gown as demonstrated. Next would be the removal of the surgical cap. Please make sure that you scrub your hands properly. Then you can remove the surgical cap as demonstrated. Please make sure that you dispose it properly. Removal of the surgical mask would be demonstrated next. The hands should be properly scrubbed. The surgical mask should be removed by tearing the straps on either sides as demonstrated. Please make sure that you dispose the surgical mask appropriately. As the final step, the last pair of surgical gloves would be removed. Make sure that you scrub your hands properly. Remove the last pair of surgical gloves as demonstrated and dispose them appropriately. Please make sure you wash your hands with soap water for 20 seconds. After the removal of surgical gloves, make sure you wash your hands properly by scrubbing the hands with soap water for at least 20 seconds. The surgical gown would make you extremely warm inside and can easily lead to severe exhaustion. Therefore, if you are going to wash your face after the removal of the protective gown, first make sure you sprinkle some water at your face without touching it. Then apply soap and follow the regular washing procedure. While you remove the personal protective equipment, always make sure to remove them by yourself without the aid of another person so as to reduce the risk of contamination. Among the personal protective equipment, the protective gown, the pair of goggles and the face shield can be reused after proper disinfection. The rest of the equipment should be disposed appropriately. Disinfection of personal protective equipment. Goggles and face shields can be washed with warm soap water followed by proper drying. Then further disinfection can be guaranteed using 70% alcohol.
disinfection of protective gowns. Make sure you follow proper personal protective measures by wearing hard gloves, goggles and face masks as TCL is corrosive. Protective gowns can be disinfected using 0.1% TCL. This can be done by adding 15 grams of TCL crystals to 10 liters of water. 15 grams of TCL placed in a gauze pouch and wrapped in a stick can be dipped into 10 liters of water. Then the protective gown can be immersed in the solution for 20 minutes. After proper disinfection of the protective gown, it could be washed using normal soap or any detergent and can be dried under the sun.